Um, Asia has been such a dynamic market in general for blockchain, but especially for Polkadot. Um, some of our strongest projects, um, some of our strongest contributors and developers and founders are based in Asia. Uh, this is definitely um, the region that is first or second in the go-to-market strategy. And it was high time for the PBA to come, spread the education, seed knowledge even more into the region and help graduate the new wave of talent. So this is the largest cohort we've had so far for the PBA. I think we have about 93 students um, from representing at least, at minimum, 35 different countries and nationalities. Yeah, we launched the now new Founders Track in PBA 3 in Berkeley, and we've really expanded the focus here, so we're graduating 35 um, different founder students with various different projects. The parts that I'm most excited about is our expand focus on mentorship time. We also added a light paper assignment which added a lot of uh, kind of writing and idea validation for the founders. Uh, Hong Kong, I mean it's, uh, it's an interesting place, right? It's, it's not known for its tech up, but recently I think there's been a lot of push by the Hong Kong government um, to create a legal framework for crypto assets and there's been a lot of support from the Cyberport. I know a lot of developers coming from mainland China as well as the rest of Asia um, coming to Hong Kong. I think it gives a good blend of, kind of grassroots developers as well as with you know, corporates who want to experiment with Web3. Because they are already in the industry, they are doing. So they are able to share a lot of real world experience instead of just academic discussion got some of the smartest people. You have some of the smartest minds in Polkadot, and I wanted to find out who's here, what people are working on. The fact that we are here in person, um, four or five weeks at a time, I've been actually in this situation where I spent five weeks with students, it adds a lot of value. I can, you can get to know someone, it creates a networking. I'm in touch with some of the former students, they come to me with, with questions. They actually open pull requests and you know, some of them are part of the fellowship. So it, I think all of these is much more readily possible when we are here in person. Coming here was an opportunity for me to deep dive into this knowledge because it's really, really, really hard to learn this. It's not something like straightforward that you just read a paper and you understand. You need this focused and full-time dedication. So I'm actually a Web2 founder. This is the first time that I'm a little bit acquainted with the Web3 world. It is challenging. The very first day I remember that people were saying, hey, GM, what? GM? I don't know what it is. So I'm now a little bit smarter, also in the entire Web3 world. It's so cool to see people like Gavin Wood that will give a, a lecture about what Polkadot is all about, etc. As a founder, when I was sitting in class, I had not one moment where I thought, okay, this would be great for my project. I had multiple moments where I thought this could be great. You know, I kind of look at this as the future of Polkadot, right? It's, you know, everybody is here to get the energy, to be trained. And uh, I think we have the builders here for uh, what's going to be the next stage. So I'd love to get in touch with everybody. You know, with, with COVID, right, I've been quite isolated for the past three years. So I thought it was really important to come here and, you know, spend some time, be able to, you know, talk to people in the morning, talk to people beyond, between class, sit in class with everybody. and. You know, I, I think build some real relationships because, you know, there's a, there's a lot that you miss from kind of being in a remote environment all of the time.